now coming to uh, lesson 3 on pointers so this is pointers in lesson 3 so now we will look into some of the means is let's have let's have something like and main I write in x star p one star star p two then I write x is equal to 100, p1 is equal to 1% x, p2 is equal to 1% p1, and print f. of the code so this is single pointer but what is this now so this is a double pointer so what does now a double pointer do so again if we can make a memory map so that will be very much easier so we have Thing here we have variable x let's say it's at 100 it has value of 100 so this is memory this is value this is the variable name it is int so this is now the pointer v1 so it is single pointer and so what I'm doing is p1 is equal to ampersand x, so its value is 100, and this may be at location 250. So now we make p2. p2 is now ampersand p1, so it is now storing the memory location where p1 is stored. So it is 250 value of p2, and let this be stored at 254. So now what happens is that when we do star of p2, so p2 is a double pointer, so when we dereference it once, so what happens is that actually so it is now p2 is value is 250 so star p2 will take it to whatever the value is stored in memory location of 250 so memory location 250 is this value stored at this location is 100 so now if we do a kind of double star or star of star p2 so this means this is now a single pointer and so when I use star p2 so this means so whatever this value is I will go to that memory location and find out the value and that value is 100 so this means it will print the value 100 so this is so some common expression that we might enter is that we can do simple operations like ampersand x and then if we do star so it is equal to x if we do x so here if we do p1 star is equal to star star of p2 is equal to x so these are some of the things that we should note so now coming to pointer expressions 
so let us have now y is equal to star p1 into star of p2 so where again let's have something as we have again in x is equal to 5 in So let's analyze what is this. So this is basically star of P1 into star of P2. And now as P1 is pointing to X, so star of P1 will have a value that is stored in X which is 5 into and P2 now is pointing to Y star of p2 will be equal to the value that is stored in y which is 6 this will be equal to 30 now let's have int sum is equal to 0 and let's say sum is equal to sum plus star of p1 so it is again star of p1 is equal to 5 so 0 plus 5 is equal to so there are other things also so let's have something as what happens if we do a p1 plus plus or if we do so let's have um, array so let's say we have int that I make P1 is equal to A. So this is valid assignment because P1 is an integer pointer so it's not pointing to this one. Uh, so what happens now is that if I do P1 plus plus so if it is so P1 is now 100 so we should think that P1 plus plus will make P1 equal to 1 so but this is wrong so what should happen is that what will happen is that p1 plus plus will see that okay so p1 is pointer to int size Hence, when we do p1 plus plus, so it finds that okay, size of integer is 2, so it goes to the next memory location where the next integer is there. So, 
instead of going plus 1 to the memory location it adds 2 and hence now p1 becomes 102 if we do again p1 is equal to p1 plus 2 so what will happen is so p1 is here now so it will be going to be increased by 2 integer memory location and it will now become equal to 106 so this is about in pointer addition with some number let's say we do subtract something so we have p2 is equal to m percent a of 3 so this means 0 1 2 3 so this is a of 3 and this is where our p2 is so now if we do this operation so p2 is equal to p2 minus 1 so this is also valid operation it will go to this one and p2 will become equal to 104 which means equal to m percent a of This is about pointer arithmetic, but few things is that you cannot do P1 is equal to P1 by 2 division is not allowed. P1 is equal to P1 into 5, so division and like something like p1 plus p2 so adding adding to if say p1 is equal to p2 that is fine if p1 is less than p2 p1 is greater than p2 so these comparisons so comparison is fine if pointers type then that's fine then you can compare but you cannot compare a double star d p and something like care star p of c so you cannot compare them but care star p c and care star pc1 you can compare these two variables so this is about the pointer arithmetic so next we will learn about some of the tables and all so but this is enough for this present lecture